This is a continuation from our last video, and I want to show you how to estimate values that you may or may not know uh, by using your graphing calculator. So if you look on your uh, keypad, there's the button trace up here in the graph menus, and above trace, you'll see the word calculate. So if we go to second trace to get the calculate menu up, we have this option called value. And when we hit enter, it's going to allow us to estimate a value. So if you look through the original data set, you'll notice that the number 13 wasn't there. And maybe we wanted to know what the estimate or the predicted value is for y hat. So we'll type in x equals 13. And then when we hit enter, it shows us where that is on the graph. And down here at the bottom, it says when x equals 13, y is equal to 3.196. So we can estimate values that way. Now, if we do... Um, choose a value that's well beyond our domain, we run into a little bit of a problem. So let's just take a look at that one. So I'm going to go to second, calculate, and I believe the value of 30 was much larger than any of the other values that we have in our list. All right. So when I choose this x equals 30 and hit enter, you're going to get this error invalid. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here. What we have to do is we have to go and we have to adjust our window if we want to be able to see that. So I'm going to choose this window button right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change my x maximum value. Notice that's 27. Let's change that to like 35. Not 25. I meant to type 35. And then we should probably change our y maximum value too. So I'm going to go down to the y maximum value and change that to maybe 10. And the window will adjust if it's not exactly um, in, in, in line with everything. So I'm going to go to graph. And you can see it kind of condenses everything. Uh, so it'll fit in there. Now if we choose that calculate button and we choose the value and hit enter, now if we type in the value of 30, it should estimate that value for us. So I'll hit enter and again, now it estimates it without getting that error and with 30, we get this value of 3.94. So hopefully this, hopefully this will help you with estimating values um, or finding predicted values for your linear regression equation.